energy levels. All right, here we go. What's going on, guys? Aaron, Cameron down at Shoot Center, uh, owner operator, on, Cameron. Sorry, sorry I was started over again. What's going on, guys? Aaron and Cameron down at Shoot Center, Cape Coral, owner operator, store manager. We're going to talk about how to purchase. NFA items and for those of you who don't really know what that is we're talking about suppressors or silencers and short barreled rifles or shorter barreled shotguns right yeah guys um, so we just kind of want to give you a brief uh, crash course on to buying NFA items which not a lot of people even know you can do so right and this is something that we do here at shoot center um, but first, talk about some new products. You know, a lot of people don't know, but we have Black Rifle Coffee in store. We also sell their mugs, and uh, this is uh, kind of cool. Uh, and as of today, we are now selling 80% lower receivers. So this is a whole other video in and of itself. But what's cool about this is this is a non-serialized item, so this is not a firearm. So you can take this, and as long as you possess the skills and the tools, you can machine this into an actual AR-15 lower receiver that's perfectly legal. It's just that you can never transfer it to another person. It can only be for you. So we sell these in store now. Coming up also, we have uh, new hats that we're gonna be uh, kind of playing around with, with uh, nine line apparel. Met these awesome folks in Orlando. They make some great products. So we're gonna be doing something real similar here with the hat, but with the uh, Velcro, we're gonna have the Shoot Center logo on the center. So we're kind of kind of excited about that. And then a few of you came in and we had sold out of the um, individual medic packs. So we have these back in stock and we have the, um, the ones that have the cat tourniquet built in and then we also have additional cat tourniquets that you guys can purchase. Okay, enough about that. Let's get started with the show. <laughs> All right. So how do you purchase something like a uh, suppressor or a short barreled rifle, right? Or a short barreled shotgun. This is a, a Caltech KSG uh, or even a machine gun. How do you do this legally? Uh, cool. So great question. Um, we have people that come in all the time walking by our NFA items and they just think they're displays. Uh, so one, uh, one of the easiest ways to do it is as an individual. So you can actually purchase a NFA item like this uh, Silence Apparel Hot Spray right here or one of these short barrel rifles or shotguns or what have you as an individual when only about a year and a half ago you had to have a trust set up. So we're not even going to go down the trust road because it's a little bit more complicated but just know that as an individual, you can walk in and as long as you're eligible to purchase a handgun in the state of Florida, you're also eligible to purchase any one of these items, which is really cool because we can get you in and out in about 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, we so everything. Not a lot of places, you know, a lot of places sell NFA items, right? So we're talking NFA National Firearms Act items, um, but not a lot of places have a live scan machine. So this equipment allows us to process the passport photos, to process the fingerprints, and it saves you guys a lot of time, a lot of hassle, and a lot of running around. It just overall makes the process a lot more enjoyable and a lot easier. Right, um, and we also do barcoded Form 4s, which is a new thing that the ATF has allowed uh, for dealers to provide to their customers are barcoded uh, ATF forms that make the process a lot faster. And so this is this is less resource intensive on the actual ATF officers who are going over the paperwork, right? Exactly. Yeah, um, and it's actually shortened down the wait times significantly. Um, yeah. You can rent those here, by the way. <laughs> <clears throat> so come in a shoot center, you pick out a suppressor, or you pick out a short barreled rifle or a short barreled shotgun. Um, that's step one, figuring out what you want. If we don't have it, we're always willing to order it for you guys. We want your business, so just let us know where we need to be. Um, and step two would really be getting with Cameron and having him go over through uh, the, uh, the entire application process with you, which as he said, is gonna take maybe, what, 20 minutes? 20 to 30 minutes, cool. just depending on you know what we're, what we're doing. Right. Um, and then what's also really unique about Shoot Center is if you buy from us, you know, because there's a waiting period to get this stuff, unfortunately. And most of that is just because of the amount of resources the ATF has to process these forms. Um, so you're looking at a waiting period of six to eight months before you can get your items. 
However, if you purchase them at Shoot Center, what makes us unique is not only do we help you with the fingerprints and the pictures, but we also let you um, use your item right away. So if you buy a suppressor and you want to test it out, we'll let you shoot it the same day. We're going to put it into our walk-in vault, and then anytime you guys come in that you want to shoot it, all you have to do is grab a staff member, we'll take it out for you, we'll let you shoot it, let you use it on our range. You just can't leave the building with it, yeah. right? You cannot leave the building with it <laughs> until everything's complete. Yeah, so that's that's what's really cool about uh, our facility because to my knowledge, I think we're the only people in Southwest Florida that actually allow you to do that or have the facility to do that. Um, that was one of the biggest barriers to entry for me was not being able to use my products until I actually get that stamp back, which could be five to seven months, just sure. depending on where we're at. Um, but now knowing that I can actually use my products while I'm here, uh, really gives me a little bit of peace of mind. I know that's that's been true for a lot of other of our customers. Sure, sure, and I mean five would be the absolute best case scenario, so don't expect that. Right. Uh, we just spoke with the ATF uh, about a month ago in Las Vegas, and they kind of gave us an updated five to seven month window, uh, but I think that's probably being a little optimistic. Right. Uh, we would rather um, you know give you a you know, worst case scenario and then exceed your expectations. <laughs> Um, so, you know, what kind of stuff do we sell? We have a pretty good variety here, uh, but like Aaron said, we can always order in something for you. Um, here's another one made by a Surefire. This is one of my favorites just because how small and resilient it is. But also we do uh, short barreled rifles and all these guns are cleared, of course, so we're not, we're not uh, too concerned with clearing them in front of the camera because they have chamber flags in them. Uh, but we do short, short barrel rifles, so that's rifles with a barrel length of under 16 inches. And then also we do short barrel shotguns, like this Caltech KSG, which is one of my favorites here. Uh, and then uh, for some people, we will also help you source transferable machine guns. Now this could be its own video in itself. Um, how do you purchase a transferable machine gun? Um, but it is possible. And that's something that we could definitely help you with. It does cost a pretty good amount of money. Significantly more money because <laughs> we're, we're talking about items that are uh, in very, very short supply to be transferable to an individual. Uh, but we've done that for clients in the past and so we're always willing to continue um, to do that. Um, before we go any further, we did have a couple of raffles that we had uh, going on for right now, probably the past two, three weeks. One of them is uh, to win a one-year Patriot level membership. So if you had visited our store and rated us on Facebook or Google, what we did is we went ahead and entered your name, if you let us know, entered your name into win a one year Patriot level membership. And we also have a raffle for a Glock range bag. These are actually really nice range bags. Uh, and it's really a backpack, right? Um, and inside, you're gonna have your handy dandy Glock water bottle. Hmm. If you don't like Glock, you're really not going to like this. <laughs> um, you have, of course, a Glock Polo. Glock Polo here. Uh, and then you have a uh, Blackhawk single stack magazine pouch. And also a free MP5 machine gun rental. So you're going to be able to actually shoot the MP5 on our range. There you go. So uh, let's go ahead and draw the two names here. Let's see. Now, last time we, we, uh, we did a raffle, we actually drew the same person twice in a row, Jose Fairman. So hopefully that doesn't happen again, but uh, we'll see what happens. Should we put a timestamp on this so it doesn't look like uh, All right. it was rigged? Here we go. Non-rigged raffle. All right. So we have uh, David Pasternak. He wins a free one-year Patriot level membership. So congratulations, David. And uh, we'll reach out to you by phone, but of course we'll also put you in the comments below. You want to uh, do the next one? Yeah, absolutely. So this is gonna be for the uh, Glock range bag and all the other Glock swag and the MP5 rental. I've got Angela Cho. Angela Cho, Angela there Cho. You go. Get to shoot a machine gun, congratulations. Sweet. All right, so moving on here. What do we have left that we really want to talk about? Um, you know, you had mentioned the trust thing earlier. We don't really want to get into, into the weeds there too much, but just, you know, what's the benefit for people who are watching who are thinking, well, I want to have a trust, or maybe it just sounds like a good idea. What's the benefit of having a trust? Okay, so 
let's back up a little bit and just kind of talk about the difference between trust and individual. An individual is, or you just individually own each one of your NFA items, whether it's a suppressor, a short barrel rifle, etc. A trust is where you have a trust set up where maybe you and your spouse are on it and they both equally kind of own those items. Uh, now it doesn't have to be the spouse, it could be kids, you know, brother, whoever, really. Friends, yeah. Friends, yeah whoever doesn't have people you like to shoot with. Exactly. Um, the only real kind of barrier there is that we don't actually physically set up trust here. You can, I can give you, um, give you the resources that you need to do that. Very, very simple to do online. Very, very easy. easy. Uh, but everybody who's considered a responsible party on that trust would have to be fingerprinted and passport photos taken of that person. Right. So for example, let's say you have a trust set up because you want to buy a suppressor and share it with a friend of yours, okay? Um, if in the future you want to put another suppressor on that trust, because both you and your friend are responsible persons, responsible parties on the right. trust, both of you will have to come in and redo the fingerprints, sort of almost like going through the process all over again, right? Uh, exactly. Uh, so the key difference here is, on the one hand it's cool because I can share this item with other people. Because if you buy a suppressor, uh, you can't take that suppressor and then loan it to your mom and then let her go uh, to the gun range with your AK-47, right? Um, but if your mom was on the trust with you and she was also a responsible person, a responsible party, then she could. You're both equally allowed to use that item. Now, um, if you wanted to add more items to your trust later on, you're going to have to bring mom down and get her fingerprints and pictures and everything done all over again. Mom can also sell that suppressor because it's just as much hers as it is yours. And your mom might do that. She might actually sell that suppressor. <laughs> you never know just because, well, let's just face it. Depends how Mother's um, Day went. It depends. Yeah, really. So really, that's, that's kind of the benefits of a trust uh, versus doing it individually. Um, and of course, you know, there are really easy ways to set up a trust. So don't think of, don't make that, uh, that extra little step, um, you know, um, deter you from getting a trust set up because it really is fairly simple. I still do all my stuff in a trust. It only takes a little bit longer. Yeah. So once it's set up, you're kind of set up for, for the life. Yeah. But. Um, okay. So there you go. Purchasing NFA items. Step one, figure out what you want. Figure out what you want. Come down to Shoot Center, you know, we have a pretty good selection here. And like we said, we'll absolutely order anything that you guys would like. Um, step two, buy the item and begin the application process. And you can, like, like we said, you can take that item, take it onto the range, shoot it, play with it, have fun that same day. And as you wait for the process to uh, come to completion, you can come back and basically check that item out from us and use it on the range. You just can't physically leave the building with it. Right. So you basically just got to start doing it. Um, it. Your wait time starts as soon as as soon as you purchase that, and we get the application filled out. Uh, and I have people all the time that say, "Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it," but they just let it drag on and drag on and drag on. So uh, go ahead and just kind of pull the trigger, so to say, and get nice it done. One. Nice one. Yeah. Um, and so we've been open since June 9th. So we've been open going on nine months now. So time goes by pretty fast. So there you go guys, how to purchase NFA items. Hope this answers some questions that you guys have. And you know, we're the only game in town that we know of, or really in Southwest Florida that we know of, that sells class three items, which is what we're talking about. Um, suppressors, short barrel rifles, short barrel shotguns. Um, that has the live scan equipment that really makes it easier on you and that lets customers shoot uh, their suppressors or their, their, their NFA firearms the day of purchase and continue to use those items as they wait for the process to complete. Um, so hope to see you guys come down and check out some NFA items. Love to know your questions, guys. Put them down in the comments. Take care. Thanks.